I hope you are having a good day. My name is Lorianne and today's video, it is one of the most requested videos I've had in the last three, four months and I'm finally getting to it. And that is how to upload Google Slides to TPT. It's here. Ah, stay tuned. Hey everyone, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Lori Ann and this is It's All Primary. We talk a lot about teacher side hustles. Tuesdays right now we're doing a whole series on teachers pay teachers and today we are talking Google Slides. Ooh. Now in my school district we are not allowed to use, well I should say we're not allowed, we are, we are discouraged from using Google Slides. So I go through seasons where I'll make some and then I won't make some. So I actually have not made any for a couple months at least. But I thought, you know what, it's, I'm, it's being requested. I'll make some Google Slides. So I have some ready, ready to go. If you are new to uploading Google Slides, there are actually two ways to do it. I don't know whether one is actually faster than the other. They both seem like a bit of work. You still need thumbnails, a preview video, a product description. You still need all the things that you would have if you were going to upload a regular product to TPT. And so I've got everything ready to go. I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to start in my PDF because that's where the magic happens. <laughs> I don't know what this was. Sorry. I use Adobe to secure, uh, to flatten and secure images, clip art, fonts, things like that. We'll start there and then we're going to go over to TPT and we're going to just upload everything almost exactly like a regular PDF. Now the second way that you can upload is to give TPT authorization to access your Google Drive. So you would create a file folder in your Google Drive with your product in it, nothing else, just the product. Oh, and I would probably put a PDF with terms of use already in there and then you upload that. You upload the link to your Google Drive. So that's the other way. I don't use that way and the main reason is that if I was to move that and then people can't access it, TPT will refund them all. And I'm like, eek. So I just rather not play with my Google Drive. That's just my opinion. If you are comfortable with that, you do you, right? You do you. <laughs> okay. When people are buying your Google Slides, they are not buying your Google Slides specifically. They are buying a link, much like Boom Cards. Boom Cards never leave Boom Learning. You're providing a link to your Boom Cards. Google Slides works the same way. They don't now own your Google Slides. They own a copy of your Google Slides. And that's why you have to make sure that the um, URL that you're providing is a copy, not the, ex the actual, you'll see, we'll see, but you'll see it. So you're just going to make sure that there's a link and your terms of use, your credits and all that sort of stuff. Like I said, we're going to do all that. Let's turn the camera around. This is Acrobat Pro DC, which I think stands for Document Cloud. And I pay monthly. If you saw in a previous video, I am thinking of switching, though this is works just fine. It's just really the cost. I'm not using enough right now to justify. You are needing to flatten any images, fonts that are not yours. And so I go into Adobe and I have hit edit, which is over here where it says edit PDF on the right. And then I have these options. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put links to some of these. So anything that's mine, such as this logo right here, I'm going to add a link. So I just highlight it, add the link, and I'm going to go to a web page and then put in the link. On my desktop, you can't see it. I'll move it, I'll move it over, but I keep a, a copy of all the links that I use regularly. So let me open this back up so you can see it here in the yellow. So these are links. There's links to my stuff. So there's one here, with, which is it's all primary. Oops, wrong one. I need the store. So I'm going to click that, copy it, but go back to the link. I'm going to put it right here. 
open a web page next and then just insert the link. So there is link to my store. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to just do it again here again. How often do these get uh, clicked? I have no idea, but I put them there anyways. Okay, here is my terms of use. I talk about what people can and cannot do with it. And some of it's not necessarily my rules. It might be the rules of the person clip art. They may not want it used a certain way. And if you would like a copy of this or something very similar to this, I have one without all the color and everything that I'd be happy to email you if you want to email me. And it says right there, I love EM, emails and DMs. So let me know if you need something. But um, these right here need a link. So I'm going to put my email in here. I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch through it all. So I provide links to all my, wherever I am on whatever platform I'm on, I provide it. Uh, sometimes I put Bloom, Bloom Learning in there. I also provide just a sampling of similar products. I've also on that little post-it note have put links to these products here. So I'm just going to add those as well. So there's a bit of prep work that needs to be done. Then this is a thank you page to the clip art artists as again, according to terms of use, provide who they are. And I've started doing Canva as well, even though it's not necessarily required. Two of these are not required either, but I just think I'm going to give credit. If I'm going to just do take the time to do this, I'm just going to do it. So let me, I'll, I'll speed through this so you don't have to watch all of this. Okay, so all my images have been linked, except there's one thing missing, and that's the big thing, the Google link. Let me go out of here for a moment. This is the important place right here. You're gonna go to share, and you're gonna go down here and get the link. Now, you want this to say can view, so people with this link can view it. Don't make it edit. I started making it edit, and then I got sorts of different emails saying they wanted to do things, and nothing, nothing was, you know, bad or anything, but I didn't need that. I'm going to copy the link and then I'm going to go back into my PDF. Let's close this. But this link needs to go in here. I've created a page that says how to use. This link will go now in this little blank spot. So I'm going to add text. You can, you can probably do this in the PowerPoint, but I just left it here and paste it. I voided out some of that. What is important is this right here where it says edit. You want to remove that, those four words, and just type copy right over top of it. This will make this document a force copy. And then right on top of that, I'm going to add a link. It's actually longer than this. So just like I did with the other ones, I've added the link. Okay. Now, everything has a link. We're good to go there. Now what we need to do is flatten this document. To flatten this document, I go over here, whoops, and I go to, it's not even showing. I wanna to go to more tools and print production, and now they're showing up. And I want to go to the flattener preview. Go to all pages and then click apply, because there's four pages and it will always give you a message if you want to proceed, and I do. One of the things that I do not like is, because, and I think it has to do with the font that I use, sometimes it will move things around. So it's done. It doesn't take long at all. 
And let me just quickly scan this. That looks good. That looks okay. That looks okay. Good. Okay. So now what we're going to do is secure it and we're going to do it with the password protection. And I've just done that. So you'd go up here and they would ask you for a password to restrict editing, not to restrict viewing. You want people to be able to open this up. Don't make them mad. <laughs> Put a password on to restrict the editing, which I've, like I said, just have done that. I can close it and it is good to go. Now we can go over to TPT. After you go into your dashboard, you move your mouse to the right, click add new product, and it takes you here. Google Slides can be uploaded, as I mentioned, two different places. One right here, so you can click online resource, as you can see, Titles the same, descriptions the same, and here you would select your item from Google Drive and you would say got it, and then it would ask you to open up your Google Drive. And then everything else is the exact same, but I'm not going to do it this way. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to go to digital download, and I've got everything either sitting on a, in a file folder or I've got thumbnails and everything right on my sitting on my desktop. So everything is open, ready to go. Telling time to the hour and half hour google slides and if you put google slides in your title please make sure to put your the trademark there and then downloadable select and there is my pdf add it there i'm going to upload thumbnails now thumbnails are just off on my desktop so i'm just going to drag them up I created a video preview already, so let me get that. I create product descriptions using a product from Bearwood Labs. I've talked about it in a previous video. You can actually buy it for about 30 bucks here on TPT. So I'll just go to open up Bearwood Labs and copy and paste it. That's done. Let's check spacing. Okay. Price. I usually do a little over 10 cents. Digital copy. Okay, one, two. Subject areas, math, oops, math and measurement. Three types of resources. When you are inputting Google Slides, make sure to use the Google Apps for resource type and then it gets flagged in the search. Internet activities and I'm going to do math centers. And then custom categories is for my store. I'm putting under primary math, telling time, and Google Slides. And then common core for math grade one. Turn that to measurement. And there it is, hours and half hours. Done. It's appropriate for Canada. Now there's 33 paid slides that the students actually work. And I'm using someone else's materials. So I have used copyrighted and trademarked materials for the product. So there we go. Let's click create and let's see what we've got. Here is the product. There's the cover. The video is, it says finish processing my thumbnails. Google Apps is showing right there. And here is the description. And this is one of the things I like about Bearwood Labs, their product description. You can put icons in here and they'll help you do automatic links to other products. And that's it. I do have a couple other Google slide videos. I will link one of them up above here somewhere. And that one is a Google slides from scratch. It's older and I've learned a few things since then.
For example, background images has been the biggest thing I've learned. So I've actually had to go back into some older products and update them with the proper background image. I still have a couple still to do. Another summer project. Summer's coming. Ha! Ah, we're counting down. <laughs> do you, if you need a checklist of all of this, let me know. I do a lot of checklists. So I'm, I would be happy to provide one for you. And if you're getting any value from this video, please give it a thumb up and make a comment down below. Are you using Google Slides? Is this something brand new? Are you an old pro at it? Do you do it differently? Or are you allowing TPT just to access your Google Drive? Share with me. I'd love to hear what you are doing with your Google Slide products. And if you want another video about Google Slides, let me know. I can always do another one. <laughs> Summer is coming, you know. So next week's videos. On Tuesday, we are uploading a PDF, a regular PDF, which looks very similar to the upload that we just did. We're going to do that with our first TPT product on Tuesdays. And then next Saturday, let's talk boom cards. So we're going to talk about some features. We're going to talk about the algorithm. And then I'm going to share a little bit of income because I don't know what happened. My income kind of grew right past TPT. <laughs> I love it. Boom knows I love them. <laughs> so wherever you are in the world, I hope you and your family are staying safe and healthy. And we'll catch you <laughs> in the next video. Take care, everyone.